The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, has mentioned that it will take a million tons of vitamin C to sustain human life on Mars. Otherwise, people will die slowly and painfully. A statement like this will leave heavy fear in the mind of those that had been dreaming to dwell on the red planet and, of course, purge them to have a second thought. Musk also added that for the first few months, a virgin planet like Mars will need a steady supply of food and other essentials to make it convenient and sustain human life. But in case anything poses a threat to stop resupply, colonies should continue living a better life on Mars just as humans live on Earth without expecting resupply of food or other materials from another planet. So in order to create something self-sustaining for humans to rely on, every daily ingredient that should comfort human life on Mars should be put in the right place and not lack one thing or the other that might make life unmanageable or unbearable. At some time in January 2021, Musk tweeted that his goal for the Starship transportation system to Mars is to launch each of the SpaceX reusable Starship rockets about three times per day while carrying a payload of about 100 tons on each flight. So, a thousand flights per year will make up more than 100,000 tons of cargo per flight. For now, let's start imagining how giant starships will be flying from Earth into space and back to Earth on a daily basis, while Elon Musk keeps doing the work to make it possible. Musk has also thought about how other things would work on Mars as well, like how job recruitment will work while maintaining earthly tradition, making laws and democracy, and also the majority of people's decisions on how best living a good life on Mars should be emphasized. In reality, Musk doesn't want to enforce miserable laws that will tame human freedom on Mars just as its practice on Earth. Hi, welcome to Tech Space. Kindly stick with this video to find out how Elon Musk plans to feed the first Mars visitors, develop and make Mars healthy for humans to live comfortably till the end of time. Let's go straight and find out in this video. We all know that the planet called Mars is a desert and there's nowhere to visit like a state or a country on Mars. And there's nothing that could be seen like trees, birds, rivers, roads, cars, and so on. In fact, there is nothing that could serve as shelter for humans on Mars, only red colored soils. If Musk can convince the public enough that the first colonists that will land on Mars will go for sightseeing, then that will be pretty understandable. But spending years on Mars somehow sounds so awful to comprehend, and at some point, we don't believe if Musk's visions will come to reality. Elon Musk's plan is more likely an adventure in the jungle, and the worst case is that it's considering it's about 300 million kilometers to travel from Earth to Mars. Certainly, travels will be tired after about spending seven months on the journey to the Red Planet, coupled with the experience that the first Mars visitors will find out that the planet isn't healthy for humans to dominate, since there is no shelter nor food for humans to survive on. But Elon Musk promises to make Mars safe, healthy, and comfortable for humans to dominate. And a worrisome question that must have stuck to our thoughts on hearing this news is, how does Elon Musk plan to make Mars healthy for humans to live? Elon Musk has already outlined his supposed grand plan to hospitalize the first humans that will land on Mars. He explained in an interview that the first colonies will use hydroponic technology to grow plants, a scientific configuration that will dominate inside specially built habitats, a major component of Martian life before terraforming will occur. Wait a minute, don't get it confused. Let's explain this properly. Terraforming is simply the process of transforming the biosphere of another planet into a nature similar to the characteristics of Earth. And this is a type of mysterious adventure Elon Musk vows to accomplish. Elon Musk and SpaceX have set up a viable strategy that will strike out all the challenges that may have compound on the first human habitats of Mars. He once said that the necessary solar panels will be planted on Mars, and the underground will be designed in such a way that it can shed dirt through cylindrical wires. He said that with this innovation, one wouldn't need to worry about the excessive ultraviolet radiation or anything similar to the solar storm. So according to him, the Earth's hydroponics will work pretty fine for such an arrangement. Hydroponics simply involves growing plants in a solution filled with nutrients and having direct contact with the roots instead of using soil. Just like some plants that are being grown inside a bottle in a plant laboratory. These types of plants grow in liquid chemical solution or water. Examples are English ivy, Chinese evergreen, wax plant, arrowhead, and so on. 
But is hydroponic the way to sustain green plants on an extremely cold planet? Lately, we haven't heard of any news whatsoever about a wet period on Mars. Just as we have the rainy season and dry season on Earth, and don't forget too soon that many plants that love water find it so easy and grow during the wet season compared to the dry season. So how will most plants survive with a steady flow of water flooding to their roots all the time without refilling? And what type of technology will perform this miracle on Mars? Another point that should be given deep thought. In 2015, researchers from the University of Arizona showed off a greenhouse that produces sweet potatoes and strawberries through water and solution-based nutrients as the source of their growth instead of soil. And the plant's growth was 10 times higher than the regular plants that grow in soil. The soil scientists also affirmed that the plants did better than another method which was introduced by Matt Damon in The Martian. His procedure involves using a haphazard system of feces and water mixed with Martian soil. NASA was also rumored to start a prey of researching hydroponics that will be exercised in outer space. Unfortunately, a different method from the other methods altogether was deemed not to work too well because the soil in outer space lacks the necessary nutrients. Though research is still ongoing, even as we speak, hydroponics will ensure the first human visitors on Mars get a healthy dose of green vegetation, similar to a city full of greens, just like what may be painted in the coming of Earth's future where only advanced smart gadgets and green plants will feed our sight in society. In his previously stated goal of transforming Mars's atmosphere to make it more hospital for human life, because that's what most of Musk's emphasis is whenever there's a new adventure of Space's X journey to Mars. Though that idea might leave a thought of skepticism on many minds. If it finally comes to reality, it'll render humans a greater degree of freedom. Like having a close experience with our earthly homes, including having an outdoorsy, fun atmosphere, a tiltillating design demarcating yourself and the real atmosphere by some faucetted glass dome with a park. And that will be a mind-blowing experience any living soul will crave for. Just like a stunning look of one of the most expensive smart penthouses in New York. The first two special starships have been prepared to be launched into Mars by 2022. But Musk seems to see something coming forth on the arrangement, so he decided that the launch will follow an Opine 2023 mission which will be slated to send a team of scientists to the moon. This special team will serve as the escort to the main starship, just that they might stop halfway, perhaps change the route to the moon while the starship keeps journeying to Mars. Just as we might imagine, of course landing a heavy starship occupied with humans on the planet Mars will not be an easy task. NASA experienced a big challenge while lowering NASA's Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. The weight of the payload is about 2,000 pounds on landing on Mars. It assumes a fraction of its initial weight. Consequently, Musk plans to develop supersonic retro rockets that can gradually lower a much heavier spaceship on Mars' surface. SpaceX reliable Falcon 9 Roaster has been set to use for the task. Musk has earlier hinted that the first journey to Mars will serve as delivering necessary flight facilities like propellant depot tanks, fuel reservoirs that could be tapped into during return trips to Earth. After the depot is developed and set up, some fuel refilling stations will be mounted to cover a vast area on Mars. Early human settlers will need to dig beneath the surface of the red planet and extract buried ice which will later be stored in a reservoir to supply precious water that will be used to work on the cryomethane propellant that will provide electrical power to the whole facility on Mars. Do you think many people will want to pay for a flight ticket and travel to Mars during the first launch? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and while you're still around, why don't you click one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.